morning. Uh, today's not gonna be many deliveries. I've only got seven, maybe eight, I'm not sure yet. But uh, a lot of miles. Considering we're 25 miles from the first one. And uh, so yeah, let's just get going up there. I'll see you at the first delivery. Five pallets inside that garage. I might be able to do it with just a donkey, but I got a pallet jack on strap, so let's try to get this thing done. miles getting out of there on that little time lapse. He lives way out in the woods there along on the back side of the, uh, on the water. A little, I don't know if you see it or not, but there's a little lake back there. Uh, we're 17 miles now out to the main road. Uh, so let's uh, get going. Yeah, this two pallet one is just set it inside the garage. One and a half ton pallets. I want to show you something on the, these ones too. There, I think they said they're supposed to be shipped over to Italy or something like that. I don't know. Any, anybody that knows the language, let me know.
had to pull it apart because there's only two stickers on it. Can anybody tell me what the language this is? I have no idea. So, if you can read it and uh, translate it, there we go, that's right, I think of. Translate it, let me know. Is it Italian or not? I don't know. These are the same pallet, pallets I pick up as strong. Did they send the wrong labels? I don't know. See, that's made by Lignetics up in Strong, Maine. I picked those pallets up, so that's what kind of got me baffled. Did they make too much to be shipped overseas? I don't know. Okay, we are now 28 miles, the last delivery of this load. I thought you were on the truck, give you a time lapse, let's get going. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless While you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless inside let's get it done
All right, that's it for this load. Let's uh, we'll get our next load on. All right, I swung by the mill, picked up the load. Full load of 10. I'm gonna wind up delivering four off of this load. We're only a mile and a half from the first delivery of one pallet. Let's head three miles down the road to the next, to the last delivery of this load. Uh, three pallets outside. If the lawn's mowed, I might try to get you guys down low, but I don't know how wet the grass is right now. They just had a, as you saw in the time lapse, you can tell that they had a re rain shower recently. Well, it looks like they uh, mowed their lawn. So we'll give it a shot. I'm just gonna have to put you down low, but up high as I can possibly get you so you don't smack the ground because I know it's soft back where I go. Looks like you guys were in the grass a little bit. At least I didn't bounce you off the ground. All right, headed to the warehouse now. We're six miles away. Well, it's great. We had two trucks show up, two truckloads show up this morning. It was LGs, the one and a half tons. I got throw, I'm gonna throw that one on the truck on this load. And Maine Woods, those three pallets right there. That's great, I mean, the more product we get in, the more deliveries I can get out. But the catch to this whole ordeal is they just stuffed the LG in the main woods everywhere on this. LG, 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 main woods, LG. I mean, now I gotta try to figure out where I'm gonna put this wooden suns. Because everything's Sorry about that, I was attacked by a horsefly. 
But anyways, as I was saying, I, I ended it real quick, try to get rid of that. Ah, uh, they stuffed it in every hole. Every bay is blocked off now. So if I need to get something, I've got to dig it out. I mean, yeah, they, they did leave some stuff out, out here, but they didn't leave me no room to put this wooden suns. Because if I just stuff it in a hole like they did, it's just going to completely mess everything up. Now the ones undercover probably got some type of damage. I don't know. But I got to try to figure out where I'm going to put them. These six uh, came right straight out of the mill. I might have to put them down here on this end. As long as I don't block the road, I should be good. And I shouldn't. I I've got to do something. Anyways, let's uh, let's get going. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll I'll figure something out. Okay, next one's a single pallet delivery. It's that six foot tall LG pellet you saw me put on, and some of the pallets that are just plugged up everywhere. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. And when I need to get something in there, or we get another truck showing up and I've gotta get it put away, I'm gonna have to dig a whole bunch of stuff out of the way to get it in. But anyways, let's get over to that one. We're 18 miles. Single pallet outside delivery. So let's get this one going. This, is, this one's real easy. I think, as long as they don't have nothing in the way. Actually, only a half a mile away from the uh, what do they call it the Bush compound where former presidents George Bush were stayed their the house they have up here in Maine I'm only half a mile from it it's like right over there I can see it across the water but I gotta look through the trees but yeah that's how close I am to that but we're gonna head over here and I said the five and a half miles over to the next one
that's it for today. Uh, one single pallet there I'm taking back to the shop. So we'll end it here. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, stay safe. I'll see you in the next one.